Hello and welcome back to the Saintly Scots. So, at the start of this episode, I thought we'd do a little bit of looking around the map. And the reason for this is I see that we have a couple of Catholic places that are just a little bit off to the side and potentially we might be able to assist them in some ways with our 5,000 gold. I also didn't notice that last time Aquitaine took a little bit of northeastern Spain. Very, very well done. Just checking this, it's still looking like this is coming to us, right? Yes, in a roundabout way, this is still looking like this is coming to us. Cool. So what I want to do is I want to get these ones. I just want to see, are they in a war? If they're not in a war, we ignore them. So who's this? So that's uh, Norway. They are uh, defending against a revolt. Well, we don't need to care about that. This might end up being a very short look around the map. So that's Bavaria. Nope. Uh, they're all orthodox, and then nobody else is going to be at war. Oh, wait. No, Italy's at war. But they're at war of um, the Holy Roman War. Okay. And they're in the Jure War over Nice. Okay, so nobody's actually in any external wars at all from the Catholicism side of things. Oh, wait, no, who are you? Lucomori. You're not in a war either, but you are very small. Which, you know, is just interesting. Bryansk, no war. Um, that's still Bryansk. Nope. Nope, there is actually no external wars going on. Well, you know, it was nice to have a look around and see how things were going, but I guess there's no reason to have done that. Let's have a look at the disease, which is apparently in our realm. That's the next step here. Camp fever, avoiding York very nicely, which is uh, fine. We'll need to keep an eye on that. And apart from that, not too much else. Now, there was a suggestion in the comment for a good way to get ourselves a, t a titular kingdom title. Uh, and the way that we can do this is if we have a look at France here, because they actually have uh, the Kingdom of France, and in fact they have the Kingdom of Brittany as well, there's nothing stopping us from taking Crusader France from them. If we take Crusader France from them, this gives us um, a, our title and should allow us to pretty much be fine. In a hundred years that'll solve our issue. And you know, I'm kind of with it. I just want to see what the consequences are though. So, revoke title... Crusader France. He would say no. That's the initial one. We would be in a war. Uh, second one is that it would lower his opinion of us by 60. And if he's still our vassal, he'll still like us, actually, surprisingly, but not by much. Okay. Uh, and what's the third one? It will lower my other vassal's opinion of me by 30. Okay, let's have a look at that. Actually, they'd still mostly be positive. Sorry, I had something on my mouse that I was just wiping off there. Um, right, so we should be able to do this. Yeah, should be able to do that. Um, wait, that almost looked like he was more annoyed. No, it's just a larger name. Okay. So, yeah. If we do that, though, he's going to say no. So he has 16,000 men. That's the next issue in that I don't actually think we can fight him right now. If he leaves us as a vassal, how many troops does he provide us? Uh, 5,000. So that means that we would have 20,000 troops. That would actually be very close in terms of a fight. I mean, we'd probably win, but we could win better if I just wait. So we're going to wait. That's my plan. Successful Holy War. So this is... Um, uh, so, who actually got the land? So, Nepal got the land, I think. Yeah, Nepal got the victory in the Great Holy War for Orissa. Oh, okay. Neat. It doesn't look like they got an awful lot of land. Is that really... De jure? Oh, there's, they didn't get any land within Orissa. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Uh, I guess it just got nullified for whatever reason. Probably because this guy wasn't the original target of the war. Um... Or whoever this one is wasn't the original target of the war. Ah, that's why it got... Yeah, okay. So it got nullified because this guy got land and he's, a, he's a, the same religion. I think that's what happened. He inherited it uh, three years ago. I should have nullified earlier, but I think that's why. Or maybe maybe they got enforced demands, but they took it did exactly what it said, and it took all land underneath, and there was no land underneath. So, yeah, maybe that's what happened. All right, unpause. Teutonic campaign. Eichmeister Ludwig of the Teutonic Order started planning a campaign against the pagans of the north. 
Ex what? Against who? What pagans of what north? I mean, is this a pa- Is it- you, you're declaring a war against this guy? The sing- the singular guy? He's not even- nope, that's just his land. Do we have any pagans left in the north? Doesn't look like it to me. Okay, anyway, carry on. For too long, the pagans have been steadfast in their fights against Christians. And the Hoichmeister Ludwig has decided to convert them with the sword. The wild people of the north have started gathering in response, bellowing their battle hymns and demonic rituals, unstoppable in their, in their frenzy. Surely, this will lead to a bloodbath on both sides, as neither will let the other be. With a final blessing from Pope Castilius III, the armies of the Teutons leave the south for good. By the sword. Um, okay, I'm gonna say again, what? Who are you declaring war on? They're these guys? Maybe maybe it's this is these guys over here? But I don't know. It depends where they were to start with, but I wouldn't necessarily have described that as the north. At least not of the map. That that's definitely the north of the map. But you know, may, maybe it was north of where they were. Northeast, maybe. I'm assuming they were over here somewhere. Anyway. Right, I'm gonna ignore it for just now. Are people still leaving and joining this defensive pact? Uh, wait. There's nobody in the defensive pact. No. No, there's a defensive pact against me. There's the Umayyads and someone else. Wait, really? There's no defensive pact. That seems unlikely. That seems like the game hasn't worked it out yet, and it would seem like it would be in bad taste to take advantage of the game until it works it out. Uh, my courtier Patrick has requested to join the Teutonic Order in their struggle against the heathens. What heathens, Patrick? Please, show me the heathens that you're fighting against. I mean, yes, you can go with my blessing, but what heathens are you fighting against? I don't really understand. Right. We need a new pagan. Uh, sorry, a new uh, commander. Right. Carry on. Right, now people are joining the defense pact against us again. That's more like it. Right. Yeah. They just needed a couple of months to work out where everything was. Uh, this person is blessed. Um, Betified. Yes. Sure. Blessed be his name. It's fine. Some things are finishing, but those were just the castle fortifications. Uh, yeah, I'll support your harvest festival for extra local taxes. A saint in heaven? <gasps> oh, wow. Blessed Malmure was a true exemplar of Christian faith, living a pious and moderate life. In a grand announcement, the Pope Castilius III has decided to canonize Malmure the God-bearing. Many tales are told about the saint and the feats he did in life. It is said Saint Malmure woke up to his hands and feet bleeding profusely, only for it to miraculously heal a couple of minutes later. Such was his life, so closely following in the footsteps of God. It is a great honor for the family of the blessed saint. May we all aspire to become as pious as him. Blessed be his name. He is actually a saint now. Our father, Saint Malmur. Very depressed. Sympathy for pagans, but overall, quite saintly. Well, that is that is amazing. I'm very happy about that. That's the second member of our family who's a saint. Yeah, that's great. Um, we only have the blood of one of them, don't we? Yeah, we only have the blood of one of them, but still... That's pretty cool. Um, so this one gives us damage against religious enemies, Christian church opinion, and convert uh, counties to your religion faster. That's cool. Uh, so we got patrilineal inheritance, matrilineal transfer as usual. It Bloodline is active if you're Catholic and bastards do not inherit. Okay, interesting, interesting. Now, just thinking about it, if I go back to Cecilia uh, and have a look at her bloodline, not bloodline, uh, go back to her and have a look at her. That's the wrong menu. That's why I can't find it. Okay. Uh, not Caradog. I'm looking for Cecilia. Uh, Cecilia the Right Believing has zero descendants. Ah, I think I knew that at one point. Okay, I was just seeing if we can get her bloodline back. But that's good. We've got a saintly bloodline that will not go away. And In theory. I mean, it, it's founded on our character. So, well, on the character above our character. So that's... That's great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
I have absolutely no negatives about that, and that means that our daughter, in theory, also has it. Yes. Uh, sorry, if you can see the mouse jumping all the way around, I am going to fix that between episodes, but yeah, I'm just going to try and work with it for just now. That's why there may be some misclicking going on. Oh, wait, are these pagans? There we go. I found the pagans in the north. It's Linda. Yeah, Linda is the pagans of the north. And wait, is this also a pagan? There we go. I found a couple of pagans. They're right down here. Cool. Right. Uh, where are we going? Nope, nothing we need to do. Oh, somebody died. Who died? My mother-in-law died. Okay. Well, I'm very upset, but I'm not that upset, really. There's a Finnish liberation. A dangerous revolt has broken out in Pomerai. Pomerai being up there. Okay. How many troops can Wales raise? Yep, that'll do. Uh, except I'll raise them a little bit closer. And then just walk our way up there. I'm not going to lead. We're going to have uh, our trickster lead. We'll have that guy lead the uh, right and that guy lead the left. On we go. Alright, this should be nice and easy. Yep, full morale. Going well. We have another blessed. Fantastic. Alright, beating the revolt. Disband. I was told that was a very dangerous revolt, but it doesn't seem that dangerous to me. Right. Uh, and let's get ourselves a new commander of Duncan. Cool. Right, uh, what are we going to do with that person in our prison? We actually have a lot in our prison. I'm going to get some money for some of them. We'll get those first. Yep, we'll get Kenna's money. Is that the only one? Or, ah, uh, they're all the same person who I'm ransoming from. It's fine, we'll get some more money. Give me some more. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, what have we got here? We can banish these people. Ooh, 2.3 gold. I mean... It's a tempting offer. I'm thinking I might just release them all. I could demand a religious conversion for any of them. I'll probably work. And any who I can't demand religious conversion from, I just let go. Yeah. Well, they're going to say no because they're a true believer. Okay. You're also a true believer. Okay. Well, we'll just chill out there for a second. Right. You've converted and have therefore been let go. Uh, you cannot convert because you're a true believer, so I think we're going to go and... This is tyrannical. Oh, because she's now a vassal of ours. Uh, probably embalming her is also going to be tyrannical, right? Yeah, we might just banish her. Right. You? Oh yeah, you're getting banished. And we get 2.3 gold. I mean, look at that. And the rest of you should be absolutely fine. Let me just check on this one. Uh, no, you can all just get released. Yeah, we're all released. Enjoy. Right. Uh, actually, I'm going to take a two-second break just to fix this mouse, and I'll be right back. Right, look at that. It can move back and forward without shaking all over the place. It's amazing. Right. Uh, let's see what we want to do here. Uh, none of those are anything we need, except for the Kingdom of, Lother of Lotharengia one is actually interesting. So that is for somebody who's underneath us. Hmm, okay. So, uh, now this defensive patch, I think we've given it long enough to work out where everything's at. Okay, everyone's in it. Okay, well that's fine then, we'll hold off. Hold off on doing anything. Just build up. Oh, there, we, haven't, we aren't building anything in York. Oh no, we should build something. Let's build some stables. Sure. Make sure we're building something everywhere, at the very least. Uh, Hull are having frequent trouble with highwaymen. Okay, I'll hire someone to deal with that. Wait, does that say somebody wants to see someone else dead? Uh, oh, it wasn't a member of my family. It's just we're finding known plots. That's fine. Presented with an opportunity to let everyone be reminded of your rulership. Oh, we're minting coins for glory, definitely. That's fine. Bunch of these are about to finish. Good. Yep, lots of training grounds. How, are we looking a little bit stronger now? Yeah, a little bit. Need a new advisor. New advisor is going to be the... Well, have we got any powerful ones? Nope, so it's going to be the King of Galicia. That's alright. Uh, so that's the Umayyad Empire accepted King Patrick's peace offer. I didn't even know that the Umayyads were at war with Patrick, but he seems to have won the Holy War for... Pen Pentif? Pentithra? Uh, I assume that was that province there. Yeah, that province there. Uh, and we probably got a little bit extra threat for that. Yep, we did. Cool. This one should drop underneath us soon, hopefully. We just need to hope for his death. 
that's fine. Uh, Flora, an education. Well, so far, the only trait you have is chest pains. Now, I don't think that's actually a trait that we can work with, so uh, let's see what else we got. Par we'll use the education guide that I've got over here. Let's see what we got. So, a uh, fair choice for diplomacy, it says, is humility. Let's take that. Looks like she's going to be good at dipl uh, diplomatically, so let's get her that. Let's see how it goes. Right. Okay. And that's about all we need to do there. Uh, people are accepting people's peace offers. So that's Scotland have accepted Ireland's peace offer. Uh, don't know what that was for, but the border seemed to be all right. Blessed has passed. We have Roy the Hunter. Distinguished Emperor Peter, I formally uh, invite you to my court for a period of festivities leading up to my coronation. You know what? Sure. We'll join your coronation stuff. It's fine. King Trahern kneels before Pope Castilius III as his host of vassals surrounds them in complete silence. The Pope gives the child an encouraging smile as he blesses him and places the holy crown upon his head, proclaiming him King of Wales by grace of God. Long live the king. If the ceremony finally concluded, he bid me farewell and dismissed me from his court alongside all of his other guests. Okay, well, that was very nice. Regency is over. I'm sick of always being kind to everyone. Oh, well, that's just depressing. Uh, we could imprison that person, but we can't anymore because we have auto stop plots on. Some castle towns are finishing. Nice, nice. We should look very, very strong in a second. Actually, we have less vassals. Oh, that's uh, because our diplomacy dropped. Okay. Your steward comes to see you one afternoon. He explains he's devised a plan to bring in exotic goods, setting up a trade route. Oh, yeah, let's go. This is the one you always want. So, uh, it's a very easy path through. You just pick the one that costs the most money. When these guys say, yep, I'd like to come along, you say, no way. It's time to set out on a trading expedition. Right. That, that happens. Then... We reach to her lands and it says, what kind of gift do you want to bring? And you bring, well, it's a very easy choice. You bring the one that costs the most. At dinner, you notice uh, that her face is glowing, is growing red of annoyance as, he, as they glare at your steward. Well, you just get annoyed at your steward. Right. As you spend more time talking to Chief Des Dagmar the Shrinking Violet, you realize that you have a lot more in common than mere business interests. I've gained a friend. With the new trade routes uh, set up, you return with the first batch of goods and sell them off for a nice profit. The influx of new wares will also benefit the economy for a long period to come. And then you get this fantastic bonus. 30% bonus on the trade route for cities and 20% for castle and tribal, which is great because that'll apply to, I think, the five that we have on that province. Yeah, it's, uh, it'll apply to all five that we have on that province. And you also get the stewardship, and you get the city vassal opinion, and you get the 500 gold to start with, and you get the prestige. It's just a fantastic event. So now we have this bonus, which is just extra across all. Now what I want to check is, is that after everything else? No, okay, so that's, on the, that's not on the Weeping Statue stewardship skill level, which I guess is person. Maybe that's your personal skill. But, um... Yeah, still alright. It gets you a 20% bonus on all provinces there, so a little bit of extra tax. And pretty much you choose those options every time, because they work. Anyway, your steward has brought in riches. Now, obviously, here is where you, you always take greedy for the extra 10% on top. But, you know, I'm going to pay him 200 because uh, I'm feeling nice. Well, that's fine. Right. Carry on. Oh, you're at war with someone. Who are you at war with? You're at war with someone internal. Okay, well, we can ignore that one then. Uh, there's an English-Welsh does, does your war over Wessex. Okay, new advisor needed. New advisor could be anybody. I guess I'll just choose somebody who's loyal until we have somebody else who needs that title. Right, people are joining defense pacts against us still. Threat is going down, though. Yep. Uh, the Waldensian heresy has appeared. Okay, um... Oh, that looked like it was... Oh, I thought that was uh, closer to home. That's fine. We'll uh, convert over here then. That's fine. Right. Uh, Yeah, we still have a lot of money, so I'll probably spend it on another uh, round of buildings, I imagine, in a second. My wife is pregnant. Good news. That might get us a son, potentially. Hmm. 
a troubadour and his wife, the troubadess, uh, troupa, troupa bearess, troubadess. I don't know. Anyway, have arrived from uh, Occitania. Uh, their uh, performances range from vulgar satires to political savants and everything in between, including songs and poems of courtly love. I'm now charitable. Oh, fantastic. More diplomacy. So we'll have more troops again. That's what I like to see. Now we're back up at 27,000. Uh, I'm still wondering whether uh, he would let us take that title off him. Maybe. Okay, it's changing because we're now a little bit stronger. Is there anything else that would convince him? Is just power would convince them. Okay. So if we have any vassals who aren't quite up there, that's what we want to have a look at. So anyone here which isn't giving us the full amount that they could. Maybe we'll send out gifts. Kingdom of Wales, send you a little, little gift there. Uh, Ireland, little gift. It's fine. Just check in our cash. Galicia, gift. Scotland, Gift. Um, France, ignore. Okay. Let's try that. Now we're at 31,000. We've become a lot stronger. How are you feeling about that revoke of title? Still a maybe. Okay. He is in a war. Our troops are in his lands. Hmm. It would solve a lot of problems. And I do like the idea of being... The Emperor of Scotland and then the King of Crusader France. Because it sounds a bit weird. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I've done it. Right. I will not allow you to steal my titles without a fight. Yeah, I was worried you'd say that. Right. Uh, let's uh, raise all of our troops. Uh, do we need a new spy master? Probably. Uh, we'll probably need one anyway. I'm going to choose my mother because I think she's unlikely to plot against us. Unlikely. Uh, right, then we'll go and raise our troops. Uh, I guess I'll raise all troops like that. Get those ones merged up over here. Uh, get those ones merged up. This is just a nice internal war, so it won't actually raise our threat at all, which is nice. Get them sorted out over here. We'll get that one sorted out. Yep. Just keep... Oh, did I not actually raise the troops there? Or the boats there? Nope. Oh, and my hand is one over. That's why I'm pressing the wrong button. Nope. Okay. There we go. Problem with using hotkeys is when it just doesn't work. Uh, okay, so those are all fine. Over here, we need just a little bit. Yep, again. Don't know why I keep hitting the wrong one there. Uh, looks like Gascoigne has joined, actually. Yeah, it looks like they joined the other side. So this might be all of our troops. Okay, we'll just merge them all over here. Actually, no, we have to merge them in York first. That's fine. Grab those ones, and we're just going to move you over to this province. It's fine. Right. Hopefully that'll work out. Is France, uh, England declared war over... Ah, uh, they're, they're declared war on uh, Wales. Or Wales declared war on them. I'm not 100% sure. Right. It's good tradition to have gossips around pregnant women. Well, because I don't have any in my court, I'm going to have some mages, uh, mages? Maids dispatched. Yeah, okay. Right. It might be getting time to end the episode. This is uh, falling apart, you know, right in front of you. Okay, 28,000. I'm going to need you 28,000 to join. There we go. Don't attack my retinue. That is not allowed under any circumstances. Okay. My retinue is sacred, and uh, I don't want it to die, basically. Right, make sure we have leaders. Uh, and then we'll just start assaulting down land. Yeah, much as we can, basically. Just get uh, as much war score as possible. We have a new heir, Malmuir. Uh, do you want Malmuir to be his name? We just had a Malmuir, a name after a random ancestor. Different one, different one. Different one. I don't know what I'm looking for. You can be Alan. Yeah. Be Alan. That's fine. Right. Um, salt down. My court physician is worried about my newborn son. Oh no. Keep him alive. Obviously the Pope is going to baptize him. That, that much is assured. I 
After news spread about the grandiose ceremony I am preparing for Alum's baptism, several of my subjects clamoured to be chosen as the child's godparent. You know what, Patrick? You're about to inherit a lot of land. You made a compelling case. Pope Castilius III washes the child three times over, reciting a prayer to protect his soul, surrounded by a host of cardinals. He then raises little Alan up for all the crowd gathered in the great cathedral to see, exposing him to the cheers of his future subjects. Okay. Right. Salt down. Next province. Whatever Bishop Shaw did, I cannot see any improvements in little Alan. He still seems worryingly lethargic. His subdued cries send chills down my spine. Oh dear. Well, that's not good. Alright, salt that down. We're obviously going to fight them over here. Yep. Uh, one day you'll have to specialize. What am I specializing in? Um, has this increased pikemen in any way? No. So I guess I want flat terrain because none of them increase pikemen. And pikemen's what we have. Right. It's been ages since I felt so invigorated by a battle. Every day our unit is moving as if connected by some unspoken bond, I exclaim eagerly one night. Or a higher power of some kind. This is all you, my lord, says one of the soldiers, a look of genuine surprise on his face. You know what? We're going to become humble, and we're going to become a brilliant strategist. Fantastic news. That is... This makes us great. We've now won that battle. Next province. We'll salt it down. And I salt it down again. There's our 100% war score. Offer a peace and force demands. Fantastic. Wait, do we now have Crusader France? No. I still don't actually have Crusader France. The only thing I wanted. Right, you. I wish to revoke the Kingdom of Crusader France from you. He will not be happy. That's okay. We are now the King of Crusader France. Which comes with it the brilliant titles of absolutely nothing. Right. Patrick? You're going to get released. I know. It's a bold move. He is very unhappy. Wait, why does he have revoke titles twice? Why do I get a negative for revoking them the first time, then revoking them when he's in prison? That seems very, very silly. You are definitely going to get the Duchy of Picardy, though. That's fine. Right. Still don't like me? No, you're still not a fan. Okay. Um, Can't send you a gift for any... Well, I could send you a gift, actually. I'm still not getting any more opinion. Yeah, he's actually, he hates us quite, you know, pretty much as much as he could. Okay, well, you know, he can't beat us, so. May have been a bad move to let him go, but, you know, there you go. I, I'm not really that worried about it. Uh, I just wanted his title, and that's fine. I mean, he probably has a claim on that now, doesn't he? Yeah, he has a weak claim on Crusader France. Uh, that's brilliant. Anyway. Right, we got some money, and I'm gonna end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see. Oh, oh my God, the AI expanded again by themselves. Baba Yaj, fantastic news. Especially as that's all gonna become our land when he dies because he has no children. Although he is apparent. Oh, that that's not the eating well one. Okay, he doesn't have any extra health. He should die at some point. Ooh, fantastic. He's got vicious rumors against him. Now that means that somebody's using the intrigue focus against him, so it's a high chance he just gets assassinated. Which would be amazing. Even if this guy dies, I think the air will still be in there. Because it'll still be... It might probably be Nor... Oh, no. If that guy dies, then Norbert might inherit. And that means that Aquitaine might get all of this land. That's a worrying thought. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.